Yo, what is going on guys? It is me, Jolts, and welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. In this video, we are reacting to my subscribers tier list again. Now, if you guys don't remember, a couple months ago, I made a video where I reacted to my subscribers tier list, and you guys really enjoyed the video, and I got a couple more tier lists that I'm going to react to in this video. Okay, so this is Jolts from the future, and I just want to say that I will be reacting to only one tier list in this video. I recorded me reacting to three tier lists, but I found out while editing that I rambled so much that if I put all three tier lists in this video, this video would be like 45 minutes long, so I'm going to save the other two tier lists that I reacted to for a video in the future. If you guys want to be featured in this series, all you have to do is join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. Click on the Zombies Poll section and scroll up a little bit, and there will be a link that I put to a tier list. Now, what you got to do is you got to fill that tier list out, send me a picture of your tier list, and just like that, you will be featured in the next video. One last thing before we jump into this video, this is mainly just for fun. I am going to be taking some jabs at people, but it's all in good fun. I don't mean anything, so don't take anything I say in this video too seriously. But if you guys do get upset and you guys want to roast my tier list, I will put a card up on the screen right now. Make sure you go watch that and drop a dislike and tell me in the comments how much you hate my tier list and how bad of a zombies player I am just because I like some apps that you don't. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And with that being said, let's jump straight into this video. Alright, so the first tier list we have is from Brad the Man. We have S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and Trash tier. I see something right away that I don't agree with. Voyage of Despair and Trash? No, come on. It deserves S tier. We all know that. I mean, like, the map is perfect. What, what, what can I say? In all seriousness, though, I do not agree with Voyage being in Trash. I do think the map is underrated. I would not put it in S tier. I would probably put it in B tier, if not maybe low A tier. But Trash tier for Voyage, I, I don't agree with that, B-Rad. And the other two maps in Trash, we have Transit and Die Rise. Those are respectable. I can totally understand why you put these maps in here. Again, just Voyage. Come on. This map is a gem. D tier. Zetsubono Shima. Wow. O okay. Dead of the Night and Shinonuma. These two are really surprising to me, especially Zetsubo. Like I said for Voyage of Despair, I think Zetsubo is a hidden gem. But if you don't like it, I can kind of see why. Personally, I do think Zetsubo belongs in S tier. But if you have bad experiences with the map, like on launch or something, I can kind of see why you wouldn't like Zetsubo. But other than that, I think Zetsubo is a great map. Same with Dead of the Night. I think Dead of the Night is extremely underrated. And Shinonuma, I would put Shinonuma in trash. I think Shinonuma sucks. C tier, we have Revelations, Shangri-La, Nocturne Toten, Nuketown Zombies, and 5. This is a very respectable tier right here. I would probably... No, I would definitely move Knockdown to D tier or Trash, but other than that, I can totally see why you would put all these maps where you put them. Okay, B-Rad. We gotta have a talk. There's, 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 there's one major problem with this tier list, and you know what it is. This right here. Why? Why? Oh, I forgot I can't do that again. Why? Why? Just, just, just why? Why is it in B tier? Please, let me know down below in the comments what you guys see in Tagged or Toten. Because I think this is an abomination of a zombies map. It is a joke of a map. And there's nothing fun to do in the map. Like, yeah, there's nothing fun to do in, um, what's the new map? Mauer or Toten. But at least it's playable. This breaks every time you play it. There's so many glitches and exploits on this map, which there shouldn't be because there's nothing extremely innovative. Like, for example, whenever Shadows of Evil first came out, there was a bunch of God Mode glitches that you could do with, uh, with Beast Mode and Infinite Beast Mode glitches. I can understand those because that's a brand new mechanic implemented into the game. So I can see how they didn't get to fully test it before they put Shadows of Evil out. This, on the other hand, there's nothing new besides snowballs. And snowballs are actually working half the time. There's napalm zombies, there's horrible wonder weapons, there's Victus being the absolute worst they have ever been. Yes, even worse than Transit. I think they're twice as bad as they are in Transit. The final map in the Aether storyline doesn't have a boss fight, it's just Onslaught on Tagger Toten. You know what, let me save some of my hatred for Tagger Toten, just in case somebody has the audacity to put it in S or A tier. Because then I'm going to have a major problem with you. Yes, I, I'm talking to you directly. If you put Tagger Toad in S tier or A tier, we're going to have a problem. That aside, we have Classified, Verruckt, Alpha Omega, Kino, 
Garod, Barry, D Machina, Firebase Z, and Origins. Now, I know B Rad isn't the biggest fan of Origins, so I'm gonna cut him some slack on that. I think that the Cold War maps do not belong in B tier, I think they belong in C and D tier, especially Firebase Z. Firebase Z is so bland and boring. D at least D Machina is fun and you can have a blast while you're killing zombies in Dark Aether. There's nothing like that on Firebase Z. There's no Dark Aether and the Dark Aether storyline on this map. I mean, sure, you have the Bunny Easter Egg, which, by the way, it's supposed to be outside in the Dark Aether, but if you look up and shoot, you can actually see the ceiling, which is a major problem I have with it. I don't know why, it just really irks me. Classified, I can totally see. I think B tier is fine. Not where I would put it, but I can totally understand why you would put classified in B tier. Verrucked, same thing. I think Verrucked's a fantastic map. I wouldn't say it's better than Doris, but it's definitely the second best water war map. Alpha Omega in B tier, that's fine. Kino, massively overrated, but I'll let it slide. Garod, I actually agree with this one. I think Garod is a good map. Like, okay, hold on, let me say this. If you guys have known me for a long time, you guys know that I used to not like Garod Krovi. I used to think it was a horrible map and I thought it was one of the worst maps ever made. And to an extent, it was at the time. But now, Garad Krovi is like Shadows of Evil compared to D-Machino or Firebase Z or Tagra Toten or Mauro Toten or basically anything they have released since Tagra Toten. I just realized I did this tier completely ass backwards. I think I started with Origins and then did these two. No, I started with Tag, then Origins, then the Cold War maps, and then I just went from left to right on the top row. But regardless, finally, the final map in B tier you have is Buried. Once again, I can understand why you would have it in B tier. I'm not the biggest fan of Buried, but it has a lot of fun things to do on the map. A tier. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm sorry. Let's try this again. I'm gonna try and say this without laughing, okay. For A tier, I, I, can't, I, I can't, I can't say this without laughing, A tier, <laughs> blood of the dead in A tier, what, I mean, <laughs> I like blood of the dead, but I don't know why, just something about blood of the dead being in A tier is making me laugh, nothing against you, B-Rad, but just, wow, that's all I can say, like, I'm, I'm speechless right now, I didn't think anybody, Besides, of course, the man with the worst opinions on the face of this earth, Fat Matt, thought that Blood of the Dead deserved A tier or S tier. Other than Blood of the Dead, we have Ancient Evil, Shadows of Evil, Call of the Dead, and Moon. Okay, it's a great tier besides this. Which, even then, I do think you could make a case for this, but it's just something that I never thought I would see on anybody's tier list. Like, I do think Blood of the Dead is massively underrated. I think it gets way too much hate for what the map deserves, but I do think that this map has its problems and I would not say it belongs in A tier. For S tier, Mob of the Dead, Duris, Durizendrak, Ascension? What the fuck are you doing up here? What? No, B-Rad, hold on. Hold on. So you mean to tell me that you think that Ascension is better than Shadows of Evil or Ancient Evil or Call of the Dead or Moon or Garrod or Origins? I wish I had a face cam on right now because I am just dumbfounded. <laughs> I, got, I can't believe Ascension is an S tier. B-Rad, if you can, let me know down below in the comments why you think that Ascension deserves S tier. And finally, nine. Okay, nine, I don't agree with. Ascension, I definitely, definitely don't agree with. Dryzendrak, yes. Duris, okay. I wouldn't put an S tier, but you do you, I guess. And Mob of the Dead obviously belongs in S tier. I can't get over Ascension being an S tier, though. Like, why? Why does it belong in S tier? Please be rad, let me know. If I had to give your tier list a rating from one to 10, I would give it a six. You got some maps belonging in the tier that they belong in, for example, Mob of the Dead, Duraz and Drac, Ancient Evil and Shadows of Evil, I would move up, but at least you have them in A tier. Moon is good, 
Garad's in the right place, so is Alpha Omega, Origins I would move up, and your C tier is perfectly reasonable, but let me get to the bad parts about your tier list real quick. First off, Voyage of Despair and Trash. I do not agree with this at all. Same thing with Zetsubo being in D tier. I think Voyage belongs in at least C tier, and Zetsubo belongs in A tier, at least, I would say. Dead of the Night, okay, you don't like the map, whatever. I don't think it belongs anywhere near the bottom of any tier list, but... I'm not going to argue that because I know some people hate the million parts that you have to grab. But once you get past that, it's a great map. Like I said, trash tier is good besides Voyage. D tier is fine besides Zetsubo. Your C tier is perfectly fine. But then we get to the B tier. And there are two glaring issues here. First off, let's get the smaller one out of the way first. Origins only being in B tier. I can kind of see why. At least you don't have it in C tier or D tier or trash, but I think that it deserves at least A tier, if not S tier, which I would put in an S tier. But once again, same thing like I said for Dead of the Night. I know some people don't like collecting a whole bunch of parts and they don't like Zymes to be like that. They're like, okay, fair point, whatever. But then we have this. Tagged or Toten in B tier. Okay, so I'm going to leak a little bit of the behind the scenes for YouTube. So B Rad and I were recording a video on his channel for his one opportunity series. And after we recorded that, we were talking for a little bit and he mentioned that I should do a part two to this tier list. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I took a quick look at his tier list and I saw this. I saw Tagged or Toten in B tier. And I told him right then and there that that was a problem. He was like, yeah, okay, I think it's a good map. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, it's not. This does not belong in B tier or anywhere above trash. I'm carrying over the same system from my last video. I'm automatically deducting a point off your rating for having Tagged or Toten in such a high tier. But other than that, your B tier is completely fine, I would say. The A tier is fine. There's a couple things I would bump up to S tier and one that I would... <laughs> that I would bump down to at least B tier. And your S tier is fine, except for Ascension. Ascension, I do not agree with. I do not understand why Ascension is an S tier. But other than that, like I said, your S tier is good. Your A tier is fine. Your B tier is fine, except for Tag and Origins. Your C tier is perfect. And your D tier and your Trash tier are okay, except for these two. So like I said, b Rad, a six out of 10 for your tier list. Thank you so much for sending me your tier list. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Huge shout out to b Rad Demand for becoming a sponsor. If you guys wanna be shouted out at the end of every video, get a follow on Twitter, as well as a few other perks, click the link down below in the description or click the join button below this video. Make sure you check out some of the videos on the end screen. And with that being said, this is Joltz signing out. Peace.